Hi guys, welcome to another Smikaz Garage. In this episode we are going to show you how to clean and install your oil strainer and your oil cooler. I hope you enjoyed this episode and if you have any comments or suggestions please do leave them below. Our first step was to remove the oil sump plate and also the oil strainer. To do this, you need a 10mm socket for the oil sump plate and a 21mm socket for the oil drain. You might need to use a flathead screwdriver to pry the sump open. To thoroughly clean the sump plate and strainer, I suggest using a scraper tool to remove most of the residues of the gasket and RTV and then use a good degreaser to clean it up. Once all surfaces have been cleaned, you can apply a thin layer of RTV to your paper gasket. Then you can place it into the engine case, followed by the oil strainer. Then you can do the same thing for the second paper gasket and close it with the oil sump plate. With the sump plate in place, you can now tighten the six 10mm bolts that hold the sump plate. To close it off, you can then tighten the oil drain plug. Next, we install the crankcase pool. To do this, you have to first place the tinware behind it. This is held in place by two bolts on each side of the crankcase. To install the pulley, you have to align it with the crankcase and the wood roof beam. Once it is in place, you can tighten the crankcase pulley nut to the defined torque spec. The final step in this episode is going to be the oil cooler. Using a good degreaser, we have cleaned it both inside and out. The first step to install the oil cooler is to place the two rubber seals in the engine block for the oil cooler passage. Then we align the oil cooler with both the bolts and the passageways. To finish, you'll only need to tighten the three bolts that hold the oil cooler in place. One on top of the case and two underneath the case. I hope you enjoyed another episode of this engine rebuild and we would like to thank you for all your support. Please do leave your feedback and thoughts in the comments below and keep supporting us by clicking that subscribe button. See you next time!